My name is Paige Furr. I teach welding and sculpture at Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts. The benefit of welded steel is durability. It's a lot more durable than clay, so it's a great choice of medium for making large-scale sculptures. It can be filled in if you make a cut that you didn't intend to make, so it's a little bit more forgiving than wood and the process is a lot more immediate than clay. The first thing we have to do when we're getting ready to weld is to cut our pieces. Here we are using the chop saw, using a soapstone to mark the exact placement of the cut. We've got goggles and gloves for safety precaution. And the circular saw uses a metal saw blade and it cuts right through the middle. The plasma cutter uses compressed air and electricity to create a state of plasma which will blow through the metal as we cut. The guide that we use, this, this bar of metal, is attached with a magnet, which is the red arrow-shaped device, and that holds the metal in place so that I get a straight cut. We cut on top of this metal grill, which allows the plasma to go all the way through without cutting the table itself. Once we have our metal pieces cut, you need to clean them up. The weld will not take if the metal is covered in rust. So you've got to clean up the edges and clean the rust off so that the metal is fresh and will take to the weld. We use a metal grinding bit to clean the metal up. For welding, you must use a welding helmet, which has a, a safety lens on it. The arc that's produced by welding is as strong as looking at the sun, so it will damage your eyes. You also want to wear a shirt, which will keep your arms from getting burned, and of course, safety gloves. The welder uses an electric current. We've got to connect the electrode up to the metal table and then the nozzle will complete the current, which creates the heat for melting the metal that comes out as you weld. And as you're welding, you want to create little circles which will guide the metal into a wider bead and create a stronger weld and connection. And as you're welding, the metal that's coming out, it's got a flux as well as steel. The flux is what melts the steel inside of the wire and it basically lowers the melting temperature of something you need to melt. An everyday example of a flux would be the salt that you put on ice to help it melt. There's also a shielding gas that is blown out through the nozzle as you're welding which keeps the weld from accruing a slag. Slag is like a corrosive metal that would adhere to the weld that you have to clean off in order to weld more flux onto it. And here we're going to weld the bars onto the sheet metal with a tack weld, which is just a little bitty weld spot. 